Hey guys, my name's Joe. You're watching Jamily TV. If this is your first time here, please consider hitting that subscribe button down that way. And if you've been here before, thank you so much for coming back to watch some more. Our next category is the Fuletasi. That's right, the Fuletasi is the full person on a time for any occasion. The yellow symbolizes her qualities and roles as a future ambassador of Samoa. It symbolizes the sun as our light bringing hope, fulfillment, happiness, and abundance. It also stands for courage and self-confidence, wisdom and intellect to deliver and serve Samoa, Bolipai Ma'awi, in families, workplaces, or wherever she is. 
The ground Afa signifies the strength of our people, sustaining Afa Samo. As a strong Tamaita Isamo, her family depends on her for giving new life, sustaining her family tree, nurturing and encouraging our young generation to make a difference, contributing to the betterment of our families, villages, and Samo. The brown Afa designed Tapa Ele on her Lava Lava presents a message to all that no matter how we change, where we go or where we live, we are part of a unique culture that connects us to our heritage, our land, our identity, our people as Samoans. Ole Tsangata Malona Aina, Ole Tsangata Foi, Malona Faasinama. Thank you, contestant number three, Miss House of Gold. The glamour of Western influence is offset beautifully with, this, with the simplicity of island life in this elegant, sleek, adventurous Ulitasi. The lime green coloured satin fabric of Western culture has been chosen to merge with simple but effective decorations which adorn Miss Samoa Australia's Ulitasi. The Ulitasi has been designed with a modern approach. The colour may be green or lime signifies the luxurious mountains and treetops, baby shoes of plants and trees that produce oxygen to our environment. It also represents the international colour of Australia where she comes from. The one shoulder sleeve subtly passes under the opposite underarm to make refined judgement on how the designer decorates the outfit. Several coconut showers have been placed on the top of the bank that runs in front of her bus line to add color coordination to the Puritasi. Her hairstyle carries fresh flowers to wrap up her performance with her Puritasi. Thank you, contestant number four, Miss Samoa Australia. As we all know, a key part of a Samoan woman's wardrobe is the Punitasi, commonly worn on special occasions. Tonight, Zoraya displays a classic one hand, crimson purple formal Punitasi. The dress color combination references someone's calmness, stability, beauty, and wealth that is found in our culture and surroundings. The extravagant purple flower that rests on her shoulder is a reflection of royalty, nobility, and ambition associated with the traits of a modern to my type someone. The frills that cascade on the side add a fresh, trendy, yet modern twist to Zariah's Kotasi. This grandeur ensemble is also decorated with rhythmic shades of orange and pink prints that pays homage to our beautiful sunset. Miss Samoa Victoria's Kuritasi was designed and put together by Cecilia Lewis Thompson. These same designs outline the bottom of Susan's Ima Lama to complement the poem and show how important our Samoan heritage is to us. 
wherever in the world a Samoan goes, they carry their Samoan culture with pride. Printed on Susan's foot, I see is the conch shell, which is used mostly by Samoan people as an instrument to call, call for attention, call to come together, and a call to honor, which is a mystery of God. The sound gets people's attention when we say Ta and welcome our guests to a function as we do tonight with our pageant theme Ta Lofa Samoa. Susan Say completes her Fuletasi and she is now ready to welcome you in true island style. Designed and created by Arine Kachua with Beyonce Kailo. Thank you, contestant number six, Ms. Arine Kachua. Miss Samoa Los Angeles comes to you tonight in her strength, elegant and very versatile politasi. Trinity has chosen an ocean blue material to represent her own calm and peaceful nature. Blue is the color of the sky and the sea. It symbolizes stability and trust. This first look you see is perfect for a Sunday church service. Modest, elegant and clean. The white and red patterns have been hand painted and stand out in a way that represents Trinity's perspective on people in general. She chooses to see the good in everyone and this is something that identifies her as a believer and a follower of Christ. She removes the sleeve and reveals the skirt portion of this punitasi. Now the second look is definitely something she could wear to attend to any formal or culture evening event, weddings, birthdays, or family gatherings. Finally, she removes the outer skirt of this look, and now Trinity is well on her way to work. This final look is absolutely appropriate for a working Samoan girl in the office place or even on the go. It's simple, comfortable, and the fit is tailored perfectly to the curves of her body. This Puritasu design gives you three looks in one. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for contestant number seven, Trinity Asuena and her beautiful Puritasu. In Matima de Lofa, love is no more. Taking us all the way back to when our ancestors were not rich in material things, but abundantly blessed with love of everything simple. Miss Lavash Kachua's Puritasi depicts the humble yes of soul, a bedspread made of remnants and leftover materials. This is a reminder that every Samoan, no matter wherever they are in the world, no matter how rich or poor they are, we will always be reminded of our humble beginnings. The Puritasi is designed to reveal a modern twist to the old school design where frills were popular among our grandmothers. The combination of green, yellow, and burgundy reflect Grace's deep love of nature, our land, and our children. The Iyelava Lava reveals the many remnants and fussy idea that our grandmothers gathered, then sewed together to keep us warm and light. Emativa Lerofa, love is noble. Miss Lavash Kachua's Puritasi was designed and created by Tito Schmidt Styles. Thank you, contestant number eight, Miss Lavash Kachua. Letitia is wearing a beautiful traditional Puritasi that takes on a conservative theme, reflective of early European settlers who saw more during the time of the first missionaries. The Puritasi makes Letitia beautifully regal and sophisticated in a historical tribute to early missionary John Williams. John Williams arrived in Samoa in 1830. Among his crew, a Samoan couple, Fawe and his wife Puse Se, who joined them on their voyage and proved pivotal in the mission in Samoa. They set foot on Savai at Puse Se's village of San Fune on the 24th of August in 1830 to meet with Maria Tua by the court, who had so proud of Samoa the death of his rival, Tawaka Williams' meeting with Maria Tua proved a success, as Maria Tua accepted Christianity immediately. The chocolate and white touches of Ele are complemented by daily material, 
and see-through sleeves, which give this conservative look of fashionable boots. This class in Kulitansi is fit for a queen. Class, elegance and style, intertwined as one. The Kulitansi design is sponsored by the Miss Samo Lover Australia Incorporated. See men's Letitia's look as royalty and is testament to the historical moment which shaped every needs and who we are as Samoans today. Thank you, contestant number nine, Miss Samoa Melbourne, Australia. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome back our first contestant, Miss Samoa, New South Wales, for her interview. Hello, Miss Samoa, New South Wales. How are you feeling this evening? I'm very good, thank you. Yourself? I'm good, thank you. Please take a question from our bowl. Samoa New South Wales, your question tonight is on education. What would you say is the biggest problem facing our education system today? And what would you propose as a solution? The biggest problem with our education today is technology. With our generation today, technology is one of the biggest things here in Samoa. What would I do to ensure that it is a, something that is taken care of is programs that we already have. I'm not going to change anything in Samoa. I would add on to it with programs that we already have. That's it. Thank you. Please welcome back contestant number two, Miss Samoa New Zealand. Good, thank you. Please select a question from our ball. She did it. Mr. Samoa, New Zealand, your question this evening is on environment. Being climate conscious can often feel quite expensive and inconvenient for the average busy citizen. Give two examples of affordable and simple, ha simple habits we can adopt to, to live climate conscious lives. Thank you, Dwayne. I know currently in Samoa, under the ministry, there is a campaign um, where the goal is to plant 2 million plants or trees by 2020. And the importance of planting these trees is because our trees are our oxygen and our trees absorb the carbon emission. So that's one way of slowing down the rates of climate change for our people. The second way and the afford most affordable way would be to be more mindful of our carbon footprint. And an example of that could be walking to places that are within a walking distance, within our reach. turning off lights when we're not, uh, not using it, so making sure we're saving power. And would you like another example? <laughs> Thank you. So those are some of the things that we can do to reduce, um, to slow down and decrease the climbing rates of climate change for our people outside. Please welcome back on stage contestant 
Tell from this house of gold, how are you feeling tonight? I'm very well, thank you, Queen. How about you? I'm good, thank you very much. Please pick a question. Miss House of Gold, your question tonight is on gender equality. What do you see in Samoa that tells you there is a need to improve gender equality? Interesting question, Dwayne. What I see now in Samoa is low opportunities for women in parliament. We need to improve our opportunities for women so that they could stand up for themselves in parliament. Thank you. Please welcome contestant number four, Miss Samoa Australia. Hello from Miss Samoa Australia, how are you feeling? Hello, good, thanks, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Please, big question. <laughs> Miss Samoa Australia, your question tonight is on information technology. In the year 2018, a Digital Pacific Summit was held in Samoa to discuss getting our governments and economies ready for the digital age. Give two reasons why you think becoming digital will help our local developments. Thank you for the question. Um, so in my personal view, I understand that not only my generations but also older generations are getting more and more involved with technology and information technology as well. And so to not only help the government but also the economy, I think that if we would be able to promote the issues that we think need more help with and the, um, the issues that could use more oomph, if that's the word, um, yeah, that would be able to help the economy and help the government thrive and to be able to put a more positive spin on everything. That's another Miss Samoa Australia. Please welcome contestant number five, Miss Samoa Victoria. Tell her Miss Samoa. Victoria, how are you feeling? Feeling very blessed tonight, Dwayne. Can you please pick a question from our home. Miss Samoa Victoria, your question tonight is on family. Child street vendors are becoming more popular in Samoa today. Who is to blame for this negligence and what solution do you propose to help fix the problem? Child, thank you for the question. Child vendors today is, is an ongoing problem here in our country. And I do not blame it on any one of the parents or the child. The parent is trying their best to make a living for themselves for their family. They, they don't know, they don't understand why you know, the effects of what the effects on the child. Um, my only solution is to help educate the parents, help find ways for the parents to earn an income, whether it be by showcasing their talent, using their skills. Kachua, how are you tonight? Thank you, how are you? I'm good, good. Please pick a question. <laughs> Ms. Arale Kachua, your question is on agriculture. How important is agriculture to Samoa's economy? And how can we further invest to ensure its sustainability? Could you kindly repeat the question, please, Dwayne? How important is agriculture to Samoa's economy? And how? Can we further invest to ensure its sustainability? How could we better improve agriculture in our society? Education is very important. It's better that we educate our future leaders or youth, the youth of Samoa, in regards to ways 
to sustain development and improve the future of Samoa. Thank you. Please welcome back contestant number seven, Miss Samoa, Los Angeles. Hello from Miss Samoa, Los Angeles. How are you feeling? Feeling well. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Please take a question. Miss Samoa, Los Angeles. Your question tonight is on politics. Our next general elections will take place in 2021. What makes the perfect candidate? What makes the perfect candidate is one who is compassionate about their people, who loves the society, someone who loves Samoa, someone who loves its people, someone who is willing to put their self aside in order to give to our people, in order to in order to sustain and grow Samoa here. So I really believe that someone who is fit for the campaign is someone who just loves in general. Please welcome back contestant number eight, Miss Lavange Pichor. Hello, Miss Lavange Pichor. How are you tonight? I'm good, thank you. Please, take a question from our ball. <laughs> Ms. Lavash Kachua, your question is on culture. Is the, Fasa, is the Samoan culture of Fatla Velani becoming too expensive for our people? Why or why not? To me, I think that Fatla Velani is our culture. is very important to us. Our ancestors and our own people. When they're speaking to us, we need to understand what they say and how they feel. And we can learn more about our culture, what they say. Thank you, Ms. Lavash Kachua. And contestant number nine, Ms. Samoa Melbourne, Australia. Welcome Ms. Melvin from Australia. How are you feeling tonight? Oh, well, I've been doing I'm feeling extra, extra excited. Yes, please, big question from our ball. <laughs> Ms. Sandra Melvin, Australia. Your question tonight is on development. What area would you say is in dire need of improvement and development in Samoa? And why? Thank you for the question. Development in Samoa has become something broad. I noticed that um, the companies that we have are more from the Asians that come from uh, from foreign countries, and so I think it's a very um, it's very good to see that we have a lot of historical buildings and um, big companies that are able to be created by um, these people, and we can. Us as someone can work together with them and make better um, and bigger companies. So, yeah, thank you. Okay, love it. Miss Samoa, 